she's just like you and me. Oh, she's homeless. She's homeless. Singing for my name. La da di da 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 di da 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 di da 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 di What's up, guys? It's Saturday, June twenty second, twenty twenty four. We're at the Bitcoin block height of 894,104. Today's Bitcoin price is just over 64,000, 64,200 something. You can get 1,500 plus Satoshis for $1. My goodness, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Satoshi Saturday. I had an episode planned today. Uh, well, two things happened, number one, uh, as you can see from the title, Micro MicroStrategy and, and Michael Saylor bought a lot of Bitcoin. So I was gonna talk about something else, but I figured let me let me talk about that. And also, it's windy. You know, it's just I went on my street, started walking around, started doing it. It's just it's just too windy, guys. Sorry. So I gotta just improvise and do it like this. But real quick, uh, I'm gonna leave links to some of these videos. Michael Michael Saylor did a interview. Uh, the other day, and I, I'm gonna leave a, uh, a link down below. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but let's just say uh, the modern day school education is not education, it's indoctrination. And even when things work, <laughs> and, the, and these business these business schools see it works, uh, they still won't implement uh, <laughs> real life, real world uh, things at work. And also, uh, Michael Saylor, bought 11,900 and something Bitcoin, almost 12,000 Bitcoin. And that's what I wanna to talk to you guys about today. Uh, he basically took away 12,000 Bitcoin away from whole coiners, right? Now I watched the video from the Invest Answers and I'm also gonna leave that link in the, in the description box below where he talked about how many, uh, geez, how many whole coiners there are in the world. I estimated about, there'll be about 500,000. I don't know what's gonna happen in the future, but what I know, what I know is 12,000 of them are gone now from, from MicroStrategy, not including the 214 he already had, 214,000, which makes it at, I think he's at 226,331 Bitcoin, not including Black Rocks, not including iBit, not including Fidelity, Arc 21, and the rest of, <laughs> These ET American ETFs, there's all, also uh, Japanese ETFs and also uh, there's countries in Australia, like Australia and everything else that are buying Bitcoin uh, at, at rates we've never seen before. Uh, Invest Answers, along with someone else, he'll tell you about it in the video, basically said they estimated there's around 200 and I think 30,000 whole coiners in the world. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for context, 230,000 seems like a lot, but remember there's 8 billion people, over 8 billion people in the world. There's 340 million people in America, and there's about between 56 and 70 million, 72 million millionaires in the world. So again, if you get to one Bitcoin, and I'm not telling you to get to one Bitcoin, what I'm telling you is this in 2024, in the summer of 2024, almost the summer, at 230,000 with all these people buying, <laughs> including the companies, the, the they call them the micro strategy mini me's, if you will, putting Bitcoin not only on their balance sheet, but they're putting it in for their for their customers, uh, their, in, their clients' uh, investments, retirement accounts. I've seen a couple, uh, I think a fire department did it. I estimated 500,000. I think it was my first or second Satoshi Saturday video that we'll have about 500,000 uh, people that'll have one whole coin. With these kind of numbers, I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, Cause these big companies, again, are eating these Bitcoin up. And remember there's between three and a half and four and a half or five million lost, gone forever. Out of the 21 million, remember there's only 21 million Bitcoin, 2.1 quadrillion Satoshis. Satoshi himself has over 1 million Bitcoin. <laughs> wow. And many, many others like me and most of you 
have a lot of Bitcoin and uh, the ones that are getting exchanged and, and trading back and forth, because again, there will always be some available. The only thing that can change because you cannot change the supply of it because the supply issuance is, is fixed is the demand can change and therefore that'll change the price. Guys, listen, the reason I'm talking about this is because Michael Saylor, again, in MicroStrategy, took away the ability of 12,000 citizens around the world to have a full coin, okay? Now, let me ask you a question. If you just got into Bitcoin, let's just say you, you, you're a precious metal stacker or whatever you are, and you just, or just a regular person, stocks and bonds and stuff like that. I, I believe probably most of you could, but do you know people or yourself that can buy one Bitcoin right now for 65,000? I'm not saying you can't, and I'm not saying you know people that cannot. But most people, uh, especially with inflation the way it's going, can't do it. It just can't. And what do you think is going to happen? And again, I don't like to predict price, but uh, with the money supply uh, increasing, the money printer turning back on and inflation going up, uh, one thing's for sure, and two things are for certain, like I always say, one, they're going to keep printing money, like I said, and two, you can't make any more Bitcoin. So with that being said, do you think the price of Bitcoin in the next four years is gonna go up or down, uh, denominated in fiat currency? You tell me. And again, I'm not a mathematician here. So if you believe the way I believe, and again, I don't have a crystal ball, um, what do you think is gonna happen in 2028? You think more or less people are gonna be able to afford one Bitcoin? I'm not gonna be British hodl in this video and tell you to get to one Bitcoin. I'm not, because you don't need to get to one Bitcoin. Uh, everyone's different, of course. It depends on your age, where you're at financially, uh, what your cost of living is, your lifestyle, how many kids you have, what your plans are, right? So I'm not going to like definitively that. say you don't need one Bitcoin, but if you get to one Bitcoin, I don't care who you are, because uh, if Bill Gates got to one Bitcoin, I don't know if that'd be enough for him, but everybody's not Bill Gates. But if you're just a normal, run-of-the-mill, everyday person like myself, uh, you probably don't need one Bitcoin. Um, this is why I tell you guys to get the one million Satoshis. One million Satoshis today costs just over 65, excuse me, $650. That's it, right? Um, and if you're, if you're past that million Satoshis and you wanna get even higher, uh, you can. Uh, but the most important thing is your education. It is. And you, get, you need to get your education up uh, to par as quickly as you can and understand and know what Bitcoin is and where you're at on the timeline once you understand Bitcoin and even more important, Satoshis. You need to understand that. So it's incredible what's going on today. I, I, I just see this and I'm just like, 12,000 people can't get a Bitcoin now. It's, it's just mind blowing to me. So, oh my goodness, listen man. The part of the timeline you're on today uh, can't be overstated because it's not going to happen again. I know I always compare uh, Bitcoin and Satoshi to the internet because that's the only thing you can compare it to. You can't compare it to Amazon. You can a little bit, but you know, Jeff Bezos is the face. Who's the face of the internet? Can you stop the internet? Can you slow it down? Who's the CEO of, inter of the internet? The internet is a protocol. Nobody knew the internet was coming. Just like nobody knew Bitcoin was coming. Could you name the person or the people that, that started the internet? Yeah, you can Google it and look it up, but on, on the top of your head, most people can't. So, I'm just saying, man, I'm just saying. What you need to do is this, guys. You need to study Bitcoin, study Satoshi, start episode one, uh, Satoshi Saturday. Get yourself 15,000 plus free Satoshis today by only, just only, Signing up with Swan Bitcoin because you get $10, which is 15,000 Satoshis. And then go from there. And then also give Tony a call from the Bitcoin way. That way you can get your node going so you can be part of the network. And also you can uh, secure your Bitcoin uh, safely and securely because it is the most <laughs> precious asset in the world. Your Satoshis, they really are. So... I love you guys, man. I, I really do. And I, I, I make these videos because it's just so, so important to understand what you have and where you're at on the timeline. And I know I say this all the time, but I got to say it again, just to make sure you clearly understand. Stack Satoshis today 
today, guys, so you and your family don't have to work for those same Satoshis tomorrow. I love each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love, guys.